The second item is on Southern Nuclear Operating Company Vogel Electric Generating Plant Units 3 and 4. The Commission is being asked to act on a memorandum and order concluding the uncontested portion of this proceeding conducted pursuant to Section 189A of the Atomic Energy Act of 1954 as amended. The Commission, with Chairman Yasko dissenting, has voted to to approve a memorandum and order which concludes that the staff's review has been adequate to support the findings set forth in 10 CFR sections 52.97, 51.107A, and D, and 50.10. The memorandum and order authorizes the Director of the Office of Nuclear Reactors to issue the limited work authorizations and appropriate licenses authorizing construction and operation of Vogel Units 3 and 4. Would you please affirm your vote? All um, right. That's all I have. Well, thank you. Uh, I'll just make a, a brief statement that I believe uh, each of my colleagues uh, will uh, make uh, some statements as well. Uh, it was approximately four years ago that Southern submitted their uh, COL uh, application for two uh, combined licenses at the Vogel site in, in Georgia. Since that time, the NRC staff, the Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards, the Commission, and many other people have spent hundreds of hours reviewing the safety, security, and environmental information in that application. The Vogel COL is, is a significant action for this agency, and the staff has done a tremendous job in reviewing the license application and ensuring it meets our existing requirements. And I especially want to thank my colleagues on the Commission for their efforts to hold and complete the first mandatory hearing on a Part 52 license. And we did that generally uh, in the time that we, uh, we, attempt, uh, we intended to do it and with a large number of uh, other activities ongoing at the same time, namely uh, reviews of, of the Fukushima accident and other very important uh, initiatives. Personally, I, I'm not supportive of issuing this license. Uh, I believe it requires some type of binding commitment that the Fukushima enhancements that are currently projected and currently planned to be made would be made before the operation of the facility. There are significant safety enhancements that have already been recommended as a result of learning the lessons from Fukushima, and there's still more work ahead of us. Knowing this, I cannot support issuing this license as if Fukushima had never happened. But without this license condition, in my view, that is what we are doing. So therefore, I have respect respectfully dissented from this, de from this decision. Thank you. Commissioner Svenke. Thank you, Chairman Yatsko. I would, as a member of the Commission, like to thank you for the orderly manner in which you have conducted the Commission through the mandatory hearing process, and I want to thank you for scheduling this affirmation today. I'm part of the Commission majority supporting issuance of this decision, making the necessary regulatory findings and authorizing the issuance of this license. There is no amnesia, individually or collectively, regarding the events of March 11th and the ensuing nuclear accident at Fukushima. The NRC's consideration of and response to these events is established and well underway. The NRC staff did not recommend and the Commission majority did not support the Chairman's proposed license condition because we found that it would not improve our systematic regulatory approach to these events at Fukushima, nor would it make, in our view, any difference in the operational safety of new reactors. We have further elaborated on our view and conclusion in pages 81 through 84 of the decision that the majority will issue today. I am confident in my support as part of the majority, my support for the issuance of this decision today. I have, I believe the staff's review is complete. The record we have built in this proceeding is thorough and complete. And uh, my support for the regulatory findings we make today is rooted in that record. I thank all of my colleagues for the collegial process that we have pursued in reaching this point. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Paslakis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I am pleased that the Commission itself conducted the mandatory hearing for the Vogel application and is able to issue today its decision on this uncontested portion of the proceeding. Achieving this major milestone is a credit to many people and organizations. I was impressed by the breadth and depth of the staff's review, as I said at the conclusion of the two hearings in late September. I respectfully disagree with the Chairman's dissenting view. This Commission is not ignoring Fukushima. This is quite evident by the multiple Commission meetings and decisions and huge agency effort 
to assess and implement lessons learned. For those who wish to explore the Commission's reasoning in this regard, the Commission's decision includes a distinct section entitled Fukushima Daiichi that directly precedes the conclusion of the order. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Magler. Thank you. Well, first, let me congratulate the staff. I, I think um, the staff has done a fantastic job uh, preparing and analyzing this application. Um, I understand they spent 7,000 hours simply preparing for and participating in the mandatory hearing we held last year. It's a great accomplishment and a, a great tribute to them that this work was done in such a professional manner. Um, the Chairman and I actually discussed the issues he raised in his statement today before final action was taken on the order we affirmed. I found that we shared a strong commitment to assuring that the lessons of Fukushima are captured in our regulatory processes and implemented by all U.S. plants on a timely basis. However, it is my view in the majority that the processes we have in place already allow this work to occur on a systematic and well-defined basis. Further, the more the staff's work advances towards implementing the Commission direction with regard to uh, the Fukushima response, the more confident I am that the agency is already on course to assure that all plants, both those currently operating and those that will operate in the future, will implement the required regulatory enhancements. As the Commission unanimously agreed just a few months ago, there's nothing gained by stopping any of our regulatory work as we proceed to enhance nuclear safety in the post-Fukushima era. If they are built as proposed and in accordance with NRC requirements, Vogel's Units 3 and 4 will represent a new era of enhanced nuclear safety. I believe the advanced technologies applied in these designs for these reactors dramatically increase the safety of any nuclear plant built today or tomorrow. Thank you. I do want to thank the Chairman and all my colleagues for what I think has been a very collegial process for many months to go through from the time period of the mandatory hearing back in September, reviewing questions for the record and uh, getting to this date. So I think this process has worked very well, and I think our discussions and communications have been fulsome, complete, and very helpful and informative. So I thank all of you for that. This is a historic decision. Um, as the Chairman mentioned, it's been almost four years since the staff started to review this license application submitted by Southern. Um, I join every one of my colleagues in thanking the NRC staff for their diligent, hard work in pursuing this very tough project. And I'll tell you, the results of their hard work have given me great confidence that um, their review has been sufficient has allowed me to support the findings, and therefore I have approved issuance of the Vogel license. I also must add that I have complete confidence that our well-established processes here at the NRC will result in us adding to not only our operating reactors, but to new reactors, any additional requirements as a result of the Fukushima review. Thank you. Well, with that, we are adjourned.